What's up guys, Goshuki here. Today we're gonna to be programming our Nacon Unlimited Pro Controller, uh, both with and without a computer. Um, so you can program it both ways. Uh, we're gonna flip the controller over here and on the back we have a couple things. Um, we have a slider here for our different modes and um, we have PC and then a one and a two. Um, so the PC modes obviously for connecting it to PC. Mode 2 is for programming it on a computer with the software, which we'll look at here in a second. And then number 1 is going to be for if you don't have a computer, you want to program it on the fly. So that's going to be for programming these four back buttons without a computer, which is what we're looking at right now. So to do that, we're going to press and hold the profile button here for about three seconds. And when we look on the front, the light around the right joystick should be pulsating, which it is now. Once you do that, you're going to press the button on the back that you want to program. So they are numbered. There's S1, 2, 3, and 4. When you press one, the corresponding light's going to light up. So I'm going to press this one right here. That's S4. And as you see, the fourth light showed up. So we are programming that button. Once that's ready, press the button you want to program it to. You're going to get a couple flashes there, and then you're set. Now it's still going to be in programming mode. So if you want to program another one, I'm going to press another button. So we got S2 and I'm going to program that to circle. So just press that and then you're all set after those lights flash. Now, once you're done, you're going to go back and press and hold the profile button for about another three seconds. And then when you turn it back, this light will be done pulsating and then you'll be good to go. Um, so we can test it out here. So I'm not going to press any face buttons. I'm going to select my Titan here to log into Destiny and press the back button. And there you go. It worked. So pretty simple. We're going to switch over to the computer software and show you how to do that there as well. Okay, so here we are. We're on Nacon's website. I'll link it down below. Um, so it's a little confusing how to get the software. So on the main page for the Nacon Revolution Unlimited, um, you see a little bit of information it works with PS4 and Windows wireless, but you can actually scroll down and get more features here. Um, but that's not what we're looking for. So way down here at the bottom in tiny, tiny print are the links to get the software for Windows and Mac. Um, so basically from this page, you're going to want to click on one of those options. OK, so now we are at the customer access page on Nacon's website. If you have an account already, you can sign in over here. If this is your first product, then you'll need to create an account to be able to access the software. So you're going to want to enter your information here and create an account or go ahead and sign into an existing one. OK, we are now signed in. Um, I scroll down to hide my personal information. I think I got it all. Um, but you'll see your products here. And from there, you can go ahead and install whichever version of the software you need. There's also a little link for a manual since they don't really come with much of a manual. Um, so there you go. Once you download that, just install it and run the software from there and we'll, we'll meet you there. Okay, now that we have the software open, you're going to come to this screen that the controller is not connected. Um, so to do that, you're going to want to put it in mode 2, which we talked about earlier. So once you do that, the first thing you're going to notice is there's probably going to be an update for the controller. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. All right, now that we're updated, you can update the software from here also. And there's also an option to update the dongle. So we will plug that in and update that later if there's an update available. But definitely want to do that first. So looking over here now, we have options for PC and PS4. So you can program both there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let's see. We got our profiles, edit program profiles. You can download and share them. All right, so we're going to create a new profile here. Um, I guess I'll name it Goshuki. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and click the check mark and we have an overview here of all the settings that we have on the controller, um, like shortcuts and sensitivity and such. Um, but we're going to go through each one individually. So, um, oh, cool. Down here we have a test area too. So we'll check that out. So we got the left stick first. So you can kind of test out different things with the left stick and see what you like. Um, I typically on the Nacon 1 and 2 just like the regular response curve. Um, over here we have sensitivity. So you can have it a higher or a lower sensitivity. So you can kind of test out and see what you like per game. So you can kind of see what it what that does here. We also have the option to reverse the Y axis on your sticks, which is it's pretty cool. Um, I usually would do that in game, but we also have the option to change the dead zone. So you can kind of 
set that up and then you have but down here we have the option to undo save test and then sync to the controller so that's just a quick look at the left stick uh, we also have the right stick over here so same kind of thing so dead zone sensitivity all that stuff for right and left and then this one the third option is going to be your options for programming your buttons and as you can see you can program just about any button on this controller which is awesome so you're going to basically click the one you want to change and then on the controller itself you're going to press the button you want to change it to so i'm going to set up how i usually have my controllers so i like x over here on the right side circle on the left um let me see this is right up so i think i like triangle on that one yeah triangle and then um square on this side and then um, you can set those up and any way you want. You got your settings for your D-pad. You can have it go four-way or eight-way. So that's pretty cool there as well. Um, so you can test that out. And then you can actually reverse the joysticks, make the right one the left one and the left one the right one, which is interesting. I don't know what situation that would be good in, but definitely good to have. So we're going to save that. Now we got the triggers. So it doesn't have physical trigger stops, but you do have digital software ones. So I like mine at about 50. So we're gonna test 50 out, see how that goes. So that means if I press the stick down halfway, it's gonna count as me pressing it all the way and help me shoot quicker. So let's go ahead and save that. Pretty straightforward. And then this is back to the visual. This is the overview of what we've done. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sync that to the controller by clicking this button down here. And then we're set. So I want to jump in the test area and see how that is next. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can kind of test out your changes. I'm moving the, the right, the left stick, right stick now. All right, that's pretty cool. So you can kind of test out your dead zones and stuff. Um, D-pad, you can check that out. That's pretty cool. Um, also the triggers. Can we test? Oh. We can test out the vibration too. That's pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. And um, yeah, the buttons seem to be working. Um, triggers, triggers are working. I'm pressing about halfway and I'm getting the full press. So yeah, pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of stuff you can test out in here. Okay, so back on the main menu, I wanted to make sure we got everything. So we got our profiles here. We can edit and change the settings on those. And um, cool, we got our four. We can create new ones, we can edit. Can download and share let's kind of see if anyone's i'm curious if anyone's made any profiles so it takes us to their website oh cool so yeah there's there's ones for apex fortnite division cool so definitely some ones to try out if you're um having some trouble finding the right settings for you in a game so cool anyway let's go back to the software um so we also could share our own if we wanted to from there and then general settings so we can change the vibration strength which i really like i i do appreciate that on a lot of controllers when you can change it because some of them it's just like earthquake or nothing um, so i like a little low um, we can change the backlight and we can change the effect oh i like these lighting settings okay so we got pulsing cycle prism and then um we can change the speed of it <gasps> and look you can change the colors now too how do you change them Let's see, you can click on, what is, oh, cool. You can change different size, oh man, this is so cool, okay. All right, so you can change, let's see, we can change that one to blue. Um, we can change this one to, I don't know, yellow. And let's see what that looks like. Oh man, that is so cool. I'm so glad, I've always gotten questions about one and two, if you could change the light, so. Here you go you can now change the color of the lighting on the um on the controller so that's really awesome so i believe that is all for the software um so we'll go ahead and save it and exit but um yeah thank you for watching drop a like if you like the content uh drop a comment let me know what you think and subscribe and go shooky out